This is a demonstration of how to clone assignments that have been given to students by module leaders um, within Gorilla. So you may, um, your university may be using Gorilla to teach a research methods class and um, you'll know that if you've got this teaching tab, go ahead and click on it and you'll see which modules you as a student have been added to. This is Nick's student has been added to both these two modules. Um, and uh, let's say my uh, professor has said, ah, go and look at the getting started um, assignment um, and I've sent you um, some materials to get you started. So you click on getting started um, and you can see that over here, um, this is where you can submit your work, but you can also get some materials. Here are your materials. Um, and what you do is here's the getting started project that's been created by my uh, professor. What I can do is clone and edit this. And when I clone it, I can give it a new name. And I do suggest you give it a new name, otherwise you might get um, confused. You can also attach this project to the assignment. And what that would mean is um, <clears throat> then all the work you do within that folder, your professor would be able to see and then ultimately they'd be able to mark it. So yeah, clone and edit is what you want to do. Um, uh, get it started, my copy, you can do that like that. Clone and edit. So here I am in uh, getting started my copy. Here's my example task that I might want to change and what I might change is like change its name or change its description so that I don't get confused between this and the um, the version that I was given and I might change the name also of the experiment here similarly change the name and descri description so that I don't get confused when you have things that are called the same thing it can get very confusing the other way of cloning if we just go or we can stay in here is when you create a task you can clone something that already exists and uh, the Gorilla team have provided lots of samples so you can go and clone an existing task and you can look in your current project, you can look in other projects like your Psych 101 Getting Started project, or <coughs> you can look in all of these projects, so classic tasks. So maybe you want to create a classic task in cognition, we've got a relational reasoning task already created, so you could go, uh, go ahead and select that and that will clone a copy of this into your folder. Um, you are viewing version one of initial clone of this relational reasoning task. So from here you can change it however you please. You're not um, changing the version stored in the samples. So you can clone relational reasoning tasks and you can also clone some questionnaires, clone existing. Um, and again, we've got some classic questionnaires, consent and demographics. So these are quick ways of getting started.